Folks, this video we're going to compare the Mark Bell Slingshot Mad Dog to this uh, cheap Chinese made Jim Ox. Now, your uh, Slingshot, pretty thick material, especially the Mad Dog one. This one's like uh, two layers of material. So, how am I going to compare these? Well, it's kind of hard to uh, compare them using the same weight and repping out, right? Because the second time you do it, you're probably going to be weaker than the first time. So what we're going to do is just, uh, in this video, I'm going to start loading up weight. And we're going to see how much weight it takes to press, basically have the bar all the way up against my chest, all right? Um, it'll hopefully make sense by the end of the video. But let's start with our Mad Dog. And we'll just put the bar on here. And I think when you see when I drop the bar down, it's not going to hit my chest. All right. And normally, I would work out before a, a workout, but I think this is going to get me warm enough. So, bringing the bar down, folks, that is as far as this thing wants to go. All right. So we're going to have to probably put significant... Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that was close. Um, we're going to have to put significant weight on this one to figure that out. I have never had that happen before. Um, obviously when you have weight on there, it uh, doesn't move that easy. Alright, the Gym Ox. This one... I almost feel like I'm going to get even more out of it than I get out of my slingshot. So hopefully I won't freaking knock the barbell off the, the rack. Now I have yet to use this in a bench press video. So we probably will use this later on. Alright, so I drop this down. Same problem, okay? Now, I think previously when I did this video, on one of these, it took at least 90 pounds on here. Um, we will throw some 20s on there. Or not 20s, but two 10s on each side. Just so this video doesn't take forever. Because I can tell it's going to take some weight. Now, one thing I noticed, I did for well, probably the last two leg workouts, I've done the hip thruster, hip thrusters, and the glute machine. And I'll tell you, my decline bench was difficult. Now, just so you guys don't have to look at my gut, I'll go ahead and put my weight belt on. Hopefully that'll cover it up. Alright. So, we are going to do the slingshot again. Let me just make sure we're still recording. This 85 pounds. Now this I've had a few months now, okay? So it is not as stiff as it was when I first bought it. But that's kind of the way it is for everybody, right? Not as stiff as you were when you were younger. <laughs> um, all right, so a couple inches off the chest. So, probably going to need more weight. The question is, how much more weight on that one? And all this is going to, is really showing you folks is that there 
there's quite a bit of uh, tension in these things that is giving you that little boost. All right, so this, I have a feeling it's gonna take a lot more weight. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to bench more with this thing. Because the reality is, I still have to lock out. All right, that's at least an inch higher than the slingshot. And whether this is a fair competition or not, the fact is this thing is a lot more, a lot stiffer, right? I'm going to put two, another 10 on each side. And you know, when they say these things might be good for 10 to 20 percent, that all boils down, folks, to whether your weak point is your chest or your arms. Um, some of you are going to get quite a bit of boost out of it. Some of you may not see anything. Especially if you have weak, if you have weak triceps, and you still can't lock the weight out. And so I definitely do not have the same tricep strength that I had when I was younger. Even though there's a lot of exercises out there, I seem seem to be the same. You do the life fitness uh, cable pull down with the V V bar for your triceps. I'm still cranking the whole rack. All right, so it's an inch off the chest. Um, I can tell you the other one is not going to hit my chest, but just to try it, make sure. Now, if I was smart, I would just stay somehow still on that bench. Or I would have did this with the flat bench. <laughs> um, all right. So, that's about one and a half inches. Two inches, I'd say. And ideally, I'd have another person helping me with this, measuring these. So, to be honest with you, let's just throw a 45 on there. It may turn out to be a mistake that I made backwards, but it kind of feels like to get this barbell to sit on my chest. It's going to take another four, 10, 15 pounds per side. Um, now, one thing I did not do is do my normal work at warm up. I have this feeling, folks, by the time I get to actually put some weight on this thing. I'm going to be damn tired. Um, yeah, I hope you guys appreciate the fact I'm making this video. Uh, if not, then uh, thanks for at least watching to this point. Alright, so I think my limit is about 15 minutes on the one channel so I don't have a I've got all these monetized channels and unfortunately you can't have like umpteen million channels without adding phone numbers so all right here we go this should sit on my chest I would imagine but I'm not sure about the second one Alright, 
So we're still, <laughs> we're still about half inch off my chest. It's going to take a lot more weight. And yes, I am panning. <laughs> so when you get old and heavy and you're beat up, it's definitely a workout to just get up off the decline bench. Get my ab workout in too for this. Alright, so I don't think this is going to get in my chest, but we'll see. Trying to grab the bar in the same place. And that's pretty close to what the other bar was. Um, we're getting close. Uh, I'm going to just go with 10 pounds. This will be... This is more weight than it took on any of the other bench slings, Chinese bench slings, fake bench slings, whatever you want to call them. Let me get a sip of my go-go juice here. It's basically a monster drink. So, change up camera angles. Ten more pounds on each side, so we got 155 on here. And it indeed is hitting my chest. So, somewhere between 135, 155. I'd honestly say it's probably close to 155 because it was just barely wanting to make impact. So what does that mean? Does that mean you're getting 155 pounds of tension um, or assist off the bottom? Um, quite possibly you are. <laughs> All right, so this is still not hitting my chest, folks. Um, so this, <laughs> this guy, the cheap gym ox, uh, if you really wanted to show off with your friends at the gym, it would appear this is the way to go. So let me find some fives. I'm going to call it on the, uh, the bench sling. It would appear that it is at least five to ten pounds less assist at the bottom. Which just might mean today we might set a new record at my current age. We might set a new new record. Um. All right, so that's what's on there. Okay. So one sixty five. Let's see if this thing will hit my chest now. Somewhere between 160 and 165 was the magic number, or somewhere over 155. But so there you go, folks. At least uh, this thing is gonna for 20 bucks seems to be a pretty good deal. All right. Thanks for checking out my video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.